In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can use Surfer SEO to help optimize and rank your blog post on the first page of Google. And we'll also be showing you how you can get 30% off off of any Surfer SEO plan. So if you want to save some money while optimizing and ranking your content, then continue watching this video. If you don't know what Surfer SEO is, essentially, it's a tool that you can use to help optimize and rank your content. So essentially how it works is, if you wanted to get on the first page of Google, it will take a look at all of the top ranking websites and see which factors are making those websites rank on Google. So for instance, if I wanted to rank for the keyword MailChimp Affiliate Program, if I scroll down after the ads, I'll be able to see all of the top ranking websites. And what Surfer SEO does, it takes all of the information from these websites and it takes into account the word count, the backlinks, the subtopics, and the keywords that are used in all of the top ranking websites so that you can get an understanding of what you need to include in your blog post for it to rank on the first page of Google. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is obviously get a Surfer SEO account. Now, at the time of recording this video, Surfer SEO is running a Black Friday deal. And right now it's 30% off of all plans. So if we go to monthly, we'll see the regular price, which is what I pay, is $59.99 per month USD uh, for a Surfer SEO account. But right now it's $41 and we have the pro account is $83 and we have the business account is $166 per month. And if we go over to annually, we can see that again, instead of being $49 for the basic for the year, it's now $34 per month. For the pro, it's $69 and for business, it's $139 per month. Now, if you are just running a couple of blogs and you're not a huge business, then most likely the basic and the pro would be more than enough for you. If you happen to use Surfer SEO, I would recommend going with the basic first, getting used to it, and then seeing if you wanna upgrade in the future. But essentially, the difference between all of these plans is the access to the content editors, the edits, and the natural language processing that you get. So on the basic plan, you get access to 10 content editors per month. So that means you'll be able to create and optimize 10 pieces of content on the basic plan. Now, how the content editor works is essentially, you would grab any keyword that you found that you wanna write about, and you'd paste the keyword right in this toolbar. So if I wanted to rank on the first page of Google for MailChimp affiliate program, and I found that this keyword is a lucrative keyword for my blog, then what I'll do is I'll copy that keyword and head back over to the content editor. I'm gonna click paste. I'm gonna leave it at the desktop option. You can change it to mobile, but you most likely wanna optimize for desktop and make sure that this is within the country that you wanna start ranking for. And then I'm gonna create the content editor. And once you create the content editor, this is what it'll look like. So right here, you'll see a content score, and this is a number between zero and 100. The higher the number, the more optimized your blog post is. And right off the bat, we can also see the word count. So Surfer SEO has grabbed all of the top ranking pages of Google for this keyword, and it's found that you need to have a blog within the range of 1,100 to 1,200 words. And it also finds that you need to have about 23 to 28 headings, you should have about 38 to 46 paragraphs, and you should have about three to five images. And if you scroll down, we'll be able to see the keywords that we need to include in our blog post, because again, it's found that MailChimp affiliate program, affiliate program, referral program, and all of these other keywords were included within the top ranking blogs on the first page of Google. And the cool thing about this is that if you actually hover over the keyword, you'll be able to see how many times is ideal for you to include this keyword in your blog post. And if you click into the keyword, it'll give you some examples of uses as well, which could be helpful. And if you go over to the headings tab, you'll be able to see what sort of headings you should have. So of course you're writing about a MailChimp affiliate program, so this will be a heading, but another heading would be something related to affiliate marketing, another one would be affiliate program, and another one could be affiliate links. Now, if you go over to the outline, Surfer SEO will actually generate a content outline 
for you so you know what sort of format you need to follow for your blog post. So we see right here, Surfer AI has generated one title, so one H1 title and 18 H2 titles. So right here, we can see Mailchimp Affiliate Program um, as the H1 title. We sort of could have guessed that because you know that's the keyword that we're um, going after, but the subheadings or the H2 headings will be very useful. So as you can see, how do I join the Mailchimp Affiliate Program? That's a great H2. Uh, Mailchimp Referral Program Tracking and Integration emails for affiliate marketing for Mailchimp. So maybe how to actually do affiliate marketing um, using Mailchimp. And then we see affiliate tools, tools and support. And then we see another one, Mailchimp commission rates and rules. What is the Mailchimp affiliate program? How do I promote Mailchimp online? Then also another good one, which is best email marketing affiliate programs. So obviously you wanna go through these and some of them will be more relevant to your blog post as opposed to others. But the key thing is, is that you'll be able to get a lot of content and a lot of ideas for content by using these briefs. And it's amazing because you haven't even written a piece of content, but you have a pretty solid outline of H1s and H2s that you can use in your blog post. And if we go back to the outline, we can also see some topics and questions. So this would be usually what would be at the end of a Google search. Um, some related topics and questions that you can also use to include in your blog post. So what I like to do is when I'm first starting off, what you can do is if you actually click on the H1 or H2, it'll actually paste that title and the accompanying paragraph beneath it. Now, I do believe that this is plagiarism free content and it's sort of um, AI generated. But of course, you want to make sure that you're just not copying content. You want to make sure that you're writing very unique and valuable content. So usually what I do is I just copy the H1s and maybe I'll leave this here just to get an idea. Um, and then I go through the H2s and I see whichever one makes sense, um, but also like in which order it needs to be in. So for instance, of course, this would make more sense to talk about what is the MailChimp affiliate program before jumping into you know, another subtopic. And then, you know, maybe after that, commission rates would be another good one. And another good one would be best email marketing affiliate programs. Again, you just click it and it pops up here. Pretty cool stuff. Um, the drawbacks of the MailChimp affiliate program right there. Plans and pricing of MailChimp is also another good subtopic to have. So as you can see, we've, all we've done is included the titles that uh, Surfer SEOs told us to include. Um, and we already have a content score of 68. Now, I believe that's because we're just using the outline that Surfer SEO is telling us to use. So of course the content score will increase, but I want you guys to take this with a grain of salt because again, this is an AI. So what it does, it just takes the aggregate of data. So you wanna make sure that you're adding a human aspect to when you're creating blog posts and you wanna add some questions and some unique content that someone else can't find on another blog because that's going to improve the reader's experience uh, and the knowledge that they gain when they're looking at your blog as opposed to a competitor. So I usually don't use the content that's produced by Surfer um, SEO. Sometimes the content isn't that great and sometimes it just doesn't flow that well. So if you're looking to write content, the absolute best AI writing tool for writing blog posts is Jarvis by far. I've been using this um, within our blogs and it's allowed us to write a lot of high quality content a lot quicker. So if you don't know what Jarvis is, essentially it's an AI copywriter and you're able to use the long form assistant, which is meant to write blog posts. And you can use this template and you just describe your content and then it'll actually give you some inputs depending on what you want to write about. So sticking to the keyword of MailChimp affiliate program, if you wanted to write about that, we'll just put that in there and then we'll click generate a uh, title and it'll give us a title, boom. And then once you find a title that you like, you click generate intro paragraph and it'll actually generate an intro paragraph that you can choose from. Sorry about that guys. I think my um, camera just stopped working for a little bit there, but that's all right. So once you click generate intro paragraph, um, just go ahead and read through a couple of these and whichever one you like the best, you'll just click that and then click uh, use this one. And then boom, you can just open the editor. And from here, you can then use the AI to help create content for your blog post. So to combine this, what you can do is if you want some better content 
about what is the MailChimp affiliate program, we'll just copy that H2 tag, head back over to Jarvis, we'll paste it in here. Um, let's reset. And then in the content description or brief, we're going to put what is the MailChimp affiliate program. And I'm just gonna start the sentence because I find this helps the AI to write a little bit better. Okay, so the MailChimp affiliate program is, I'm gonna change the output length to longer and then let's click compose. And the AI will start writing content about what is the MailChimp affiliate program. Boom, and as you can see, it even starts giving us another H2 tag as well. And if you think there's more content, you can keep on clicking compose and let it continue writing. Depending on the topic that you're writing about, um, it'll be able to pull a lot more content. So we just wanna go over all of the content to make sure that it all makes sense. Again, this is an AI, so it's not 100% perfect. You do need to go in there, make some edits and make sure everything is flowing together well. So again, I wanna go back into Surfer and I'm gonna copy another H2, which is best email marketing affiliate programs. Boom, head back over to Jarvis. And then I'm gonna paste this in here again. And I'm gonna put two asterisk because what that does is, or is it three, I forgot. But what that does is, is just make sure that all of the content above doesn't get repeated. So for a subtopic like the best email marketing affiliate programs, this will probably be a list, this will probably be a list style of different affiliate marketing programs. So what I'll actually do is, instead of using the AI here, and this is where Jarvis is really cool. You can actually go into the power mode and you'll be able to have access to over 30 plus uh, templates. So that's the beauty about Jarvis is that you're able to combine different templates to help you get the content that you need. So let's go into blog post outline and then I'm gonna click paste here, best email marketing affiliate programs. I'm gonna click generate AI content. So once I entered best email software affiliate programs, as you can see, the number one output gives me about six different um, email affiliate marketing um, companies that I can choose from. So you just wanna copy this and then we'll paste it in here. But once you get your output, you can just paste it in here and then start writing about these different email marketing affiliate programs. So you'd wanna obviously just continue to rinse and repeat this process, just copying um, your subtopics, heading over to Jarvis and then using the AI to help you get some content. Or if you don't have Jarvis, um, just writing your content on a Google Docs or a Word sheet. So I've went ahead and created some content using Jarvis. And as you can see, we're now well over the suggested um, rate for the word. And this doesn't really matter that much, at least in my opinion. Um, again, these are just sort of estimates. So you can sort of, you know, base it on what you think you need to include in your blog post. So if you need more words, by any means, add more words into your blog post. But as you can see right now, we're at a score of 87 out of 100, which is pretty good. Um, for our keywords, most of our key target keywords are in our blog post. There's a couple that probably needs to be removed. Um, I don't really look into this too much. Once I get something over 80, 85, I just sort of publish and then move on to the next post. You don't wanna to get too tied up with the nitty gritties of getting every single thing right and getting 100% on your content score. So that's how you use the content editor on Surfer SEO. Now the second really cool feature included in Surfer SEO is the ability to do audits. So how the Surfer SEO audits work is, so let's say you have a blog post that you've already posted and you wanna actually optimize this blog post a little bit more so that you can get some higher rankings or more traffic. So what you're able to do is just copy that URL that you wanna optimize. And within Surfer SEO, you're gonna head over to audit and then you'll paste the URL of your blog post right here and you'll add the keyword in which you wanna optimize for. So you can actually do multiple keywords um, if you're trying to rank for more keywords or you can put one keyword in as well. So again, sticking to the MailChimp affiliate program keyword, if we wanted to optimize this blog post a little bit more, then we'll just run the audit right here. We'll give it a second and then we'll be able to go in and see what optimizations need to be done. So once that's completed, um, you'll be able to get sort of an outline of what needs to be done. So the first thing that you see is the content score. So to actually gauge your content score based on the other competitors on the first page of Google. So there's gonna be sort of an average and you need to be above that average or at least higher um, than most of your competitors 
to increase the chances of you outranking them. So this will tell you what your current content score is and what you need to improve it by to get the best results. If you scroll down, it'll show you some missing common backlinks. So it'll show you what backlinks uh, your competitors are getting so you can go out and try to get those backlinks to your blog post. Also for internal linking, it'll show you some ideas for internal linkings. And if you scroll down, it'll show you those terms that are sort of broken down that we saw in the content editor. And we'll be able to see how many times we've included that keyword um, and where there's need for improvement. And if you scroll down, it'll show you the overall word count. And it'll show you if you need any more words within your H1, your H2, um, or any of your heading tags. And if you go down to page structure, you'll be able to see if you need any images to be included and you'll be able to see how your title and meta description um, looks compared to your competitors. And you'll also be able to see how fast your web page is loading because if you have a faster page, then the likeliness of you ranking is higher. So as you can see, you get some really good information in the Surfer SEO audit feature. So if you run out of content editors for the month and if you're on the basic or pro plan, you can just simply upload the blog post to your website and then do a content audit. So within the basic plan, you have access to 20 audits and within the pro plan, you have access to 60 audits and on the business plan, you have access to 140 audits. So just gauge how much content you're producing for your blogs. So if you're producing around 30 pieces of content per month, then the basic plan would be fine because you can do 10 content editors and 20 um, audits for your blogs. But if you're doing a little bit more, let's say closer to 100, then maybe the pro plan would be best suited for you. But if you're a content agency or you have a lot of different blogs and your volume is very high, then you may want to go ahead with the business plan. But nevertheless, um, if the Black Friday deal is still going on, I highly recommend that you try out Surfer SEO, especially now because you can get 30% off off of each plan. I also want to say thank you guys for a thousand subscribers on this YouTube channel. This is just the beginning and we have a lot more content that's coming up. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until the next video, stay well.